Welcome back to Business AM. My name is Simba, Elijah Charles Kiyagev. We appreciate you being part of the Metropole TV family. This is the week that we got to talk to you. So talk to us. We are online at Metropole TV Kenya. We are actually live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Metropole TV Kenya. Be part of the conversation. Let's therefore talk one of the biggest issues therefore this morning as we understand the economy. Now, I just want to get into the first part of the introduction. What is the role of women within our economy? And do you think we are already there when it comes to recognizing and actually playing a part together within the economy? Good. This morning, I am joined by Margaret Mudel. She is the CEO of Women Base 360. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank it's you a so pleasure much. to host you here today. Thank you for having me. One, one question that everybody really wants to know is that have we really recognized mm -hmm. the role of women in our economy? Are we there yet? Okay, one thing I would say is that women are really the backbone of the economy. Yes. And this, even the statistics back this mm -hmm. particular statement because in Kenya alone, like nearly 61% of all the unlicensed and unregistered enterprises are women owned, which goes to show that these are the people that are really pushing the economy yes. and especially even from the grassroots level. level. Mm -hmm. And if we did more to empower these women to help them break through from that micro level to even become SMEs and large corporations. Yes. Imagine what kind of return this would have to the economy. And this particularly is because women reinvest up to 90% of what they earn to their families and to their communities. Yes. So this is definitely going to have a ripple effect to the economy yes. of our country. All right. So I just want us to lay, to touch ground therefore, yes. on uh, Women Biz 360. Yes. What is it? What are you what are you doing with women? Women Biz 360, as yes. the name suggests, is a movement mm -hmm. that we are creating yes. to empower women in business, first of all, changing their mindset, helping them break the limiting beliefs that have kept women uh, running small businesses, not knowing that they have the same capacity and capability to be big business. Yes. And what we are doing at uh, Women Biz 360 is helping them achieve a growth mindset. How do you overcome that? See yourself first, big in your mind, even before we touch on the other aspects of the business. And this is helping them uh, bridge the technology, funding up, and also help them access markets. Yes. And building the capacity to help them to get to that next level of breakthrough it, through a mm -hmm. 360 degree angle, starting with the woman first. Yes. Helping them, first of all, achieve that confidence to know that, yes, I'm big business mm -hmm. and I can make it. It's interesting how you should talk about 360 yes. view of exactly how we can actually get women totally involved yes. within the Kenyan economy. And mm -hmm. one of the areas in which have been pointed out to be one of the weakest points mm -hmm. when it comes to women is the leadership yes. within the Kenyan economy. How yes. are you approaching this at 360? Yes, at Women Biz 360, mm -hmm. business leadership and particularly leadership yes. is a key thing. Yes. That's why for us we are very intentional helping this woman uh, discover their own talents, their skills, and how they can uh, uh, employ this in their own business and even in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Helping them, first of all, fully understand and develop their business leadership skills yes. so that they can, first of all, lead themselves and be a leader even in our economy. Yes. yes. I like how you talk about helping these women develop. Yes. Let's, pick, let's pick a woman in the rural areas, and you're going yes. to talk to me exactly how you're also targeting them, yes. because that's also another area where research, research shows us that the woman in the city is making greater steps than the woman actually in the rural areas. True. So pick a woman and tell me exactly mm. what you do, how you mentor them, what is the process that goes into making this woman therefore realize that they actually have a part to play within the economy. Uh, once uh, we take a woman on board to Women Biz 360, yes. we help them first. We have tools that we use and proven uh, technologies and uh, procedures that we use yes. to help them discover what is your motivation, how is your emotional balance, mm -hmm. what is your leadership style like, uh, how is your influential and your social skills. And we develop those because once you develop the person, then it will be easier for them now to fully realize their potential, even yes. in business and in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And you see 
how do you unlock their blind spots and help them develop themselves to become a true leader in their own business and also in our economy today? Yes. Yes. And through that, we also do coaching. And we do coaching in three aspects. We have, uh, they have access to a life coach, yes. a business coach, and a financial coach. Yes. Because these are the gaps. Women need to know how to do and not just... Um, we are trying to move from the method of instruction led where women go to trainings and they're just left without any follow through for us is really hand holding this woman to help them get to the next to the next level they need to get and yes. understand the things mm -hmm. the key fundamentals for their business so that they can truly succeed mm -hmm. yes all right yeah. so now capital yes as everybody will know we've yeah. seen a lot of um um, uh, movements or developments also from even some of the banking facilities within Kenya. Yes. It's now that we have actually banks and, 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 and funds uh -huh. that are totally geared uh -huh. to the woman within the Kenyan economy. Yes. Do you think that we met steps there and when it comes to capital and especially mm -hmm. for women within the Kenyan economy, what are you doing around that? So now we can have now the woman as well yes. get exposed uh -huh. to this financial assistance. Uh, it's a good thing to see what uh, particularly some of the banks are doing mm -hmm. and especially in the area of financial inclusion yes. for women like lowering the barriers because some women do not have the collateral to you know go and get a loan and we've seen them having some form of flexibility where they even give a more patient uh, debt mm -hmm. where there is a grace period where women can repay the loan uh, a little later than uh, what they used to do before yes. and those are very good steps that yes. they are taking mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, what at women be 360 we do we also expose them to alternative financing besides the tradition of financing that is within the banking system yes. and this is private equity private debt and grants that there is alternative uh, funding available for them to also uh, access capital to grow their business yes yes and 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 this is you're, you're gonna be really the the right person to talk to me about this is it uh -huh. when it comes to capital the yes. people say uh -huh. that availability of capital mm -hmm. is not the biggest challenge now though mm -hmm. when it comes to even now helping the woman mm -hmm. actually scale up their businesses mm -hmm. is that saying if you actually look for this capital there are people who are ready to give you this capital yes. but then there's something that is lacking within the kenyan economy when it comes to actually helping this woman mm -hmm. scale their businesses what do you think for you from your mm -hmm. seat yes. is the biggest challenge therefore to women scaling up the business of the Kenyan economy. Yes, I totally agree with what you're saying. There's yes. a lot of capital available. Yes. So the issue here is the mindset. Yes. And therefore that's why we deal with the have we help the women achieve a growth mindset. Because there's no way a woman can absorb like let's say one million dollars to grow their business if yes. their model first of all is not scalable. And first of all it has to begin with their mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Help them achieve that growth mindset. And I've had several conversations with uh, as different investors, and one of the things is they say they're thinking too small. They have a small mindset. Which like is a big thing, isn't it? From why you say that, yes. that when somebody it's tells you that thing. they're thinking small. Yes. How do you, can, can you, Magway, because somebody uh -huh. really needs to understand. Yes. What has really sidelined uh -huh. the Kenyan woman within the uh -huh. Kenyan economy to the point where, uh -huh. wow, wow, uh -huh. we got to think here. Yes. We don't want to stop. What do you think has been the factor? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. are some of the cultural issues that yes. women have faced that has made women lean back. Yes. Yeah. And women have a lot of self-doubt. Like, I cannot go for this big business. Yes. And actually, the statistics I've mentioned before where we have nearly 61% of the business uh, that are women-owned being in the micro sector yes. goes to show how risk-averse they are as compared to the male counterparts. They would rather play small and stay small. And again, women have all these other responsibilities. Mm -hmm. They are our mothers there, they are wives. They have other social responsibilities around them yes. where striking this balance and helping them break through to the next level becomes a big challenge. Yes. And that's why we come in as women bees with the various interventions that we have to help this woman, first of all, achieve that uh, growth mindset. Know that, yes, you can contribute to the economy of this uh, country in a greater way beyond just being in the micro sector and fending for your family, like m uh, moving from, you know, producing from your kitchen to even setting up a manufacturing plant. Yes. It's something that is uh, uh, very s simple, yes. you know, and also, Helping these women uh, uh, look up to role models, people, women, other women in business that have already made it 
and, and blazed the trail. Yes. How do you also, ex we expose them to that? Yes. And the coaching and the mentorship, yes. And uh, also the mm -hmm. access to capital. Oh, no, 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 the and access to capital. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So now, I want you to, when you, I know you've been within the economy, you've looked at the yes. Kenyan woman, uh -huh. you've seen exactly what the challenges are, uh -huh. and you've seen exactly uh -huh. how you should target them. Have you seen considerable uh -huh. turnarounds uh -huh. in the woman that you've targeted and also uh -huh. the areas that you've been targeting throughout? Uh, yes. yes, I have several examples of ver various uh, women that we have work worked with yes. and really helped. Mm -hmm. And I'll give one example because uh, one woman who approached us and she was looking for capital. Yes. And we realized the issue was not actually capital, just as you alluded to before. Yes. So it was the growth mindset. Isn't it? And we helped her because uh, uh, we have quite a good number of women who yes. are in the service sector. Yes. In the service sector, one of the challenges they face is how do I price my service? And this comes from the value that you have upon yourself. This is the same value that you project to the person that you're giving the service to. So if you first of all don't see that value within yourself, that you have earned it, yes, that there is great value that you're giving to this particular person, then pricing becomes an issue. So once you worked on that and helped her even increase her prices, like to a level where the value was consumerate to the pricing that she was giving these people, yes. she no longer needed capital. And she actually opened a second branch yes. of her business. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the interventions that we say that it's not always capital. It has to begin with the mind. Women in Kenya are very resilient. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do you also help them uh, employ that same resilience even in their business? Yes. To help them uh, scale and run big corporations. Yes. In our I, I listen to you yes. speak. You're very passionate about the Kenyan woman. Yes. And, and, and as a woman in business as well, you yes. do know exactly uh -huh. what it is that you're talking about. Yes. When you place Kenya, therefore, uh -huh. when it comes to the opportunities and, uh -huh. the, and, the, and, and the position of the Kenyan woman yes. within the economy, would you say that we are making steps? And where would uh -huh. you like for the Kenyan economy to be in yes. just five years to come? Yes, I would say right now we are really like making small steps yes. in the right direction. Yes. And that's why we are seeing many other organizations like Women Bees and many others that are joining hands with us. See how can we empower this woman to help them move from where they've been to another level. Yes. Because um, as I mentioned before, most women just run a business to subsidize their family income. But beyond that, this impact we can translate that particular impact to the community and to our economy yes. not just thinking of the family setup but also thinking about how do you now move forward from where you've been to the next level yes yes where you will now we, we can now start seeing the ripple effect yes. in our economy mm -hmm. and uh, looking at the global statistics it shows that if we bridge that gender gap we'll be able to move from 3% of the uh, global GDP to even 9%. Mm -hmm. And this, of course, will trickle down to every country. Yes. So empower the woman because women in Kenya are very resilient. Yes. They're very passionate. Empower them, uh, expose them to the particular opportunities, and we'll begin to see a turnaround in our economy. Yes. As I mentioned before, women reinvest up to 90% of that income to their families and also to the communities. So this will become a ripple effect where we're going to see our economy moving from where we've been and struggling uh, to prosperity, having shared prosperity. Yes. Yes. Margaret. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us here. Um, yes. It's quite a little time now, for we uh -huh. can really cover uh -huh. everything. Because I did have questions on exactly, uh -huh. because you know, it's not just about the woman at the end of the day. Yes. It is. It is. It is, it is about also now looking at the woman from another perspective. Yes. Because now we do have the little girls that uh -huh. we have within the Kenyan economy. Uh -huh. These are the ones that we are actually growing up into women. Uh -huh. Because whether you like it or not, yes. they're going to be the women for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Are you also looking at this critical aspect? Because we do not, with this, my majority of women have this mindset. Yes. Then the young girls within the Kenyan economy are also going to grow up uh -huh. with the same, same mindset. Are you also looking at this perspective as well? Yes, we are looking at that. How do we also empower yes. young girls uh -huh. to you know, help them also get to that step so yes. that we don't make strides with this current generation, forgetting about the generation that will come after. Yes. So in our program, we also have that aspect where we'll work with young girls, especially in technology and even in universities, yes. to also expose them to this particular environment. Because one of the key challenges is exposure. 
how can you look up to something that you have no exposure to? Yes. So it's giving them also that exposure early on in life to see, yes, we have had women who have gone before you, they've blazed the trail, here is where they are, and here is how you can also tap into the opportunities of the future as a woman who is growing to help uh, move this country forward Isn't beyond it? where this gener current generation will contribute up to. Yes. yes. Lastly, therefore, yes. Margaret, mm. what is the picture for these women, these 360 in five years to come? Uh, actually, our big, hairy, audacious goal is yes. to empower 5,000 women in our first five years. And we are not only looking at Nairobi. Yes. We are launching our program next week at Workstyle yes. along Motangari Drive. Yes, on Thursday from 9 to 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we are starting it with Nairobi, but moving to other counties because yes. we've realized women in Nairobi, uh, the ecosystem is very vibrant here yes. and we have a lot of support, but we are looking at the woman who is at the grassroots so that we can get our numbers. We are looking at 5,000 women in our first five years of operation. If we can change their mindset, help them break out of the self-doubt and the limiting beliefs that these women have held on, that yes, you are a key contributor to the economy and to the gen next generation. Pretty much. Yes. Precise. Yes. I would say so. Thank you very much, Margaret, Thank for joining you. us this morning. Yes. Now, you don't know. Yes. This morning, we are actually speaking on the role of the yes. Kenyan woman within our economy. Now, it's possible that 90% of reinvestment back to the economy comes from the woman. Yeah. And we're saying that if we do that, then our GDP versus the, the global GDP can actually grow up to 9%. You can actually see this gap that has not been covered. Get to learn about women being 360. All right, you can actually get a recap of this conversation on Facebook, on Twitter, and YouTube. Just go in at Metropole TV Kenya. And if you go to Women Biz 360, then you'll actually get this conversation right there for you. Guess what? We take a short break, but we're not done speaking on women issues within the Kenyan economy because, yes, we're going to speak about another aspect of that as well. This is Business and we take a short, tiny break once we come back. The show continues.